Hello, everybody. Welcome back to part two of Professor Lauren's Pokemon's new Pokemon Snap playthrough. This is just continuing on for me from part one, obviously wearing the same shirt. Uh, the last episode was just getting a little long, so I decided to cut it. And I believe on this journey, on this episode, we're going to be doing our first nighttime run through, which is going to be really fun and hopefully get some glowing Pokemon photos. So... Um, let's go into, uh, you know, in the last episode we found our, we got our camera, we got a couple photos, we did two runs of the first park time, park during daytime, and then we are going into a nighttime now. So, uh, I don't know if I'm going to post this, like, uh, a couple days after part one, a week after part one, just depends on how well received the first episode is, if, if people like it and they want to see part two right away, or... Um, you know, if not a lot of people show any interest, I might hold off a couple days until until next week. Uh, welcome to Professor Lawrence Pokemon. I'm glad to see you guys, and let's get into this. So far, loving this game. Uh, it's very interesting. I never played the first Pokemon Snap, so this is all kind of like a new type of Pokemon experience for me. Now let's go into Florio Nature Park. Well, that answers that question. I was, I was wondering if it decides the day normally based on your actual time, but it seems like it just you get to choose so we're gonna do oh and you get to change research level oh we select research level you can do level one research or level two research and that would be i guess another benefit of advancing your research is that it has more replayability or something like that when you go back through and you get to see different critters score bunny hey look at me oh that's cool Fire legs. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come here. Come here. Come here, you little. Oh, I'm going to have to cut that out. This has got to be child friendly. What are you doing? What are you doing, cutie? Oh, that's cute. That's a good photo. Not very centered, though. This one's facing the. Oh! Ah, missed it. Do it again. Do string. Was it string shot? Oh, yeah. Beautiful photo. Oh, this is a crystal bloom. Come on out, Pinsir. I know you're in there. Oh, yeah. Torteras. That's cool. It looks like they're blocking the path, though. So I'm assuming they're going to have to, like, get out of the way. They're all sleeping. Hoo <gasps> at night. Yeah. Let's get a couple of them now, just in case. They do not look like they are up to any good. Ooh, combies! Now I want to look at those. Oh. Uh, oh, they're all over the place, though. Okay. One of those is going to be good. A huge energy reading! Alright. What is our huge energy reading? Is it a Gigantamax energy reading? Hey, Professor. We got to see Professor Mirror again. We've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. Which I learned you can just kind of mash A and it'll blast through it. Okay, Score Bunny. I'm sh I know we had a couple great Score Bunnies. Okay, here we go. I guess that there's an auto-choose feature too, though. Uh, we've got to try that let's out sometime. This. We'll just see what the auto-choose picks, and then see if we would pick. That's what we need to try, is we need to do an auto-choose, and then we need to choose photos, and see if we would pick something better than the auto-choose. Or if we think it'd be better than the auto-choose. Okay, so what is our energy breakthrough? Research level 1 at night? Uh, I wonder if it's research level per, like, night-day. It's got to be per area. So that you get more advanced research level, and then you unlock new creatures or um, something in that in that area. Imagine the Pokemon behave differently at the hour. Keep up the good work. Look this way. Gain a score of thousand or more in the direction category. Profile icon night. Okay, some unlockables. I like that. Landscape photos taken by Rita can be seen in the lab. They don't appear to be photos of Lentol, but it's not clear exactly where they're taken. I wonder if that's like a hint for Arceus or 
like a spoiler or some kind of Easter egg. Something Someone can figure out where those are from. I don't know. Take a look at this. All right, so giant energy spike. It's a Dynamax energy spike. <laughs> We're gonna have Dynamax Pokemon in Pokemon Snap. You can, you can photograph Dynamax Pokemon. That'd be so cool. I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Its source seemed to be moving, if only slightly, which suggests what we've got here is an Illumina Pokemon. Can't be sure, but I expect so. Wonder why it showed up. Did you see anything special? I doubt it appeared when it did by chance. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where the reading is coming from. What? I want to see too. You can watch through the monitor with what? me, Rita. Please head out as soon as you're ready. Okay, let's just jump into it. Let's just jump into it. Newbie poster. One sweet online medal. Ooh, someone already gave me a sweet, I guess. Observe. Let's see what. Let's see what tools he's all got. He has a. Is that a microscope or a drill press? Looks like a bunch of wrenches, a bunch of monkey wrenches, some Allen wrenches, screwdrivers, pliers, tiny little tool shed, an Audino, which is so cute. All right, let's check out this Caterpie. Photos saved, 15 out of 48. That's all we get to save. Editing, caption, upload, save. Oh, we can edit it, like, upload straight to it. Save to the system. I mean, this, I could, I imagine, I won't do this on a video most of the time, just because, yeah, I can imagine this would take so long. But we are going to do one, just to play around. And upload the photo to your page online. Yes. Upload to your page online. Yes. All right. Time for the next research thing. Oh, you're off to do some research? I can't wait to see your photos. The Illumina spot is new. Let's see what happens. Do you see or hear anything? Mm, I see myself in a bubble. I see some glowing the uh, crystals or whatever. <gasps> I think I know. I was gonna say I know that it's Meganium. He's just gonna be like wrong. Oh. Eater. That meganium be Illumina Pokemon. Quick, get its picture. Get its picture. She's <laughs> like, I gotta get my bubble on first. Oh yeah, look at me, baby. Look at me. That's it. Work it. Work it. Work it, baby. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. So they eat the crystal thingies. Oh, I should. I need to get the photo of it eating. All right. Well, I'm pretty, pretty much just gonna follow this thing around. So. I I am I am curious if the prices of Meganium cards have risen since the announcement of this game and especially the launch of this game. I am gonna look at that. Um, I'll let you guys know. I'm going to look at the Meganium prices over time and see if they've kind of gone up or been pretty much the same the whole time. All right, eat the bloom. Eat the bloom, baby. Yes. Sniff the bloom. Work it. Yeah, do that roar. Work it. Ooh, that... Oh, my goodness. It's so beautiful. How's that not a c artwork on a card? Yeah. You waddle along. <laughs> like staring at me. Oh. What? And off it goes. The energy reading is gone, too. 
let's chat when we get back. Let's. That was very interesting. Cool. We've got a lot to discuss, but first let's get the photos evaluated. So you get to choose one. I'll go with that. I'll go with that. That's a pretty good selection. I wonder if that always means it's the highest score one if you do auto. Or if it's just like, eh, this may or may not be let's the highest this. scoring one. That's another thing I'd like to know, because if it gives you the highest scoring one each time, you could always just do auto. But then again, it didn't give me the three stars, so maybe it's like you need a specific star rating. 5,000! That's getting uploaded too. You know it. Alright, we got to research level 2. The Illumina spot. Another step forward for the research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. Best shots. Got a score of 5k or more on a photo eval. Nice pose. 1,000 or more in the pose category. Register the Illumina Pokemon Meganium to the category. Got a filter. Cell shaded. By the way, now that you've got the Illumina Pokemon info, I've got something to report. Fill you in once your photos are squared away. Now is a good time I to open up. At the end of my last video for part one, I opened up a Battle Styles booster pack. But now that we're partway through this episode, I'm going to open up another Battle Styles pack for all of you guys watching, sticking through it with me. Thank you for uh, enjoying this adventure through the Lentol region and through Pokemon Snap. So we're going to open up the... Uh, this has the Single Strike Urshifu on the front. Let's cross the fingers for some good luck. Haven't been getting super great luck with Battle Styles recently. So I feel like, you know, opening a couple of these packs while we do our Snap playthrough is going to be a fun time. Oh, imagine I pull something really great off of these. Code card. And... Ooh, one, two, three, four to the front. Fire energy. Uh, yeah, girder, cacturn, level ball, horsey, manky single strike style, mile, fomantis, remoraid rapid strike, reverse of the phalanx, and then hey, Vivalon. Speaking of which, she got the one of the cover boys for Pokemon Snap. Still, man, I just nothing good from battle styles. Okay, back to the game. Back to the game! Uh -huh. <coughs> You're back. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? And wasn't it saying something? <laughs> was it? Look who's talking. You were practically dancing, Professor. <laughs> Him. Moving on. There's no doubt about it. That Meganium was an Illumina Pokemon, just like in the Legends. Will remind me of what the Legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor? Didn't they supposedly save Lentol from a huge disaster a long time ago or something? Mm -hmm. So the story goes, yes. Also, Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinctive patterns to, and to glow with unusual light. Sounds like our new friend. Yes, to the letter. I'm convinced the events in those legends really did happen. And discovering the true history of this region could be the key that opens up all our research. Oh. Hang on, wasn't there one more important thing you were going to mention, Professor? That's all right. It's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. Morning, guys. Good morning. Did you manage to get some sleep? Now, as Rita already told you, Here's the thing. I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire Lentol region. And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. Huh? You think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet. But fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? Well, you know, maybe. For a scientist, you sure can be vague sometimes. Still, I think it's a good idea. It'll be way more fun with you along. Well, there you have it. Ready to join our, officially join our research team? And do I have a choice? It's like, what? Excellent. Well then. Let's make it official. With a team badge. With a team badge. Cool. Ah. It's like you were born to All wear right. it. Well, what are we waiting for? Adventure awaits. Mm -hmm. Not to rain on your parade, Rita. But I need a couple more things ready first. Aw, oh, come on. Just a little bit longer. All right, I promise it'll be worth the wait. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. Album. 
Uh, I think this one. This one looks better for like an online photo. So let's edit this. Let's check the cell shaded filter. Whoa! Save and quit. Caption. I don't know, I'm thinking like roll credits or cover art. There we go. And upload. Ah, my face is so shaded. <laughs> so, so shattery in here. Now that you're a full-fledged team member, I have something for you that'll come in handy. Apples! As the explanation, what do you do the honors, Rita? Yeah. Yes, sir. Huh? Was it just me, or have I been getting to do a lot more of the work lately, Professor? I, man, I love her eyes. So green. like. Whoa! Where'd he go? Dude disappeared! He's like a Jedi. Time to explain the great existent I am. This is fluff fruit. They grow here in the lentil region. They're sweet and tasty and make a great snack for Pokemon. They milk like they made look like regular apples, but they're way lighter and softer. You'll probably make a Pokemon's day if you toss it one of these. Let's get you some practice. Get it, Pikachu! There! It's me! I came to get a bite! Who doesn't love a little snack? True. A little bit higher. Yeah! <laughs> Bonked him. Right? Pretty easy, right? I think that should be all you need to know. So I guess we just have to wait until the professor gives us the green light to move on. Oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> you should try testing out fluff root and taking more photos in the meantime. The professor says there's all kinds of ways wow. to use it. <laughs> Finished explaining, I see. Thanks, Rita. I've got one more thing to tell you for now. Thought it'd be handy to have a quick way to share what we see and learn in the field. Are you too familiar with Len Talk? Oh. It's like Apple, it's I, everything yeah, it starts with Len. Len talk, the Len watch. It rings a bell, I yep. think. It's a communication tool folks here in the Lentol region use. Rita, let's say you notice something exciting in the field. You can send a photo and description over Len talk. I can use it to send things I notice on the monitor too. That sounds super fun. Look for Len talk messages in the top right of the screen at the research camp and elsewhere. They ought to help. One from Rita. When Meganium gets to this spot, it starts looking around kind of restlessly. Do you think it's looking for one of its friends? Is that a request? Or just an observation? Why not see what Pokemon you can find in the nature park using Fluffroot and scans? Alright, let's go back during the day. Okay, let's do it. So, Fluffroot is B. Oh, there's a good Piku. No, come back. Here, eat! Eat! Eat, damn it! <laughs> so, is someone gonna jump out? Oh, boofed it. That's a nice big photo, though. Here, eat this, Wurmple. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Eat it! Eat it! Ooh, it's on the log. I like how it um, slowly goes down. Yeah, I got him. Got him! Flop him with the... With the apples. Got him! Got him! That's new. What are you doing? Ah! I thought he was going to, like, charge me. Let's see if we can get the thing using its ability that, um, that Professor wanted. Lots of Pichus and Grookies. Hey! Come here! Look at me! Look at me! Look! Look, look, look! Oh, that's the... Yep, that's it. That's it. Give me the good stuff. Okay, 12 different Pokemon out of 71 photos. Okay, so we're, we're going to do the auto pick and see what it gave us that would be different. Yeah, yeah, that one's definitely better. 
You got a research title, regular poster. You got a hundred. Uh, you got a total of one hundred sweet medals online. Nice. You got a total of thousand sweet medals online. Nice, cool. That's fun. That feels good. <laughs> More than I get on Instagram. I got twenty. I was gonna replace that one because it's like simple wormple photo that got nineteen, fifteen. 1200 dang that went up fast for the cover art love that's more a little more than i was expecting nine on badoof so i think i want to replace badoof magikarp about to get wrecked <laughs> and that's fun i like that we'll save that one and and so i'm assuming there's a space so if you try to upload more than one it's gonna like tell you like you gotta get rid of something before you upload more you cannot upload anymore. Please take one or more photos down from your online to make room and then try again. So, there you go. A mole is just like, it's my birthday. And I think with that, we're going to call episode two. Uh, this may even be split up into two parts and have like part two, part one, part two, part two. I don't know. Depends how long these are after editing. Uh, it's already been 56 minutes recording, which just... The time flies so fast when you're playing this game. I, I'm telling you, like... It feels like it's only been 20 or 30 minutes, but it's go by, it goes by so fast. But thank you so much for watching. It's been fun. I love, This is really fun playing, and thank you for having this experience with me. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you didn't like the video, go ahead and leave those thumbs down. Let me know why. Hit the sub button if you haven't already. We're going to be doing a lot of more of these, and I also open Pokemon cards on my channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. If you're playing the game, how it's been going for you. Share, and we'll see you next time.